What's going on, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And welcome to part four of the 670cc go-kart build. In this part, we are removing the governor, which is going to be interesting, uh, you know, considering it does massive wheelies whenever we bypass the governor. Uh, we are going to hopefully get it on a dyno to measure how much power and torque it makes, and we are going to be making a wheelie bar for it. This series would not be possible without Go Power Sports, who provided all our fancy new parts. There are links to Go Power Sports in the description, as well as cards that will appear in the top right hand of the screen whenever we mention or use some of their parts. And Cars Amino. Cars Amino is a mobile automotive community. It's an app you can download or on your Android or iPhone. Uh, it's a place where you can interact with other car enthusiasts without the distractions of other social media. Uh, we've been using it and really liking it for its polls in particular. We have a current poll going on right now. What should we name the go-kart? Black Widow is winning by like 300 votes or something. So if you like Black Widow, go for, vote for Black Widow. But if you don't, then you should vote for something other than Black Widow because I don't know, but I don't know. Anyway. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> you can also post on Cars Amino, post about your favorite car, post about your current go-kart or car build, whatever you want. Uh, you can also do polls. There are forums. There are all kinds of different tools you can use to gather information for your own build or just uh, kind of hang out virtually with other car and go-kart enthusiasts. Anyway, let's get to removing this governor. Let's get it. Cool. Get going, man. Get to turning. In order to remove the governor, we have to open the case. And in order to open the case, we have to remove the torque converter, courtesy of Go Power Sports. Ooh. It's a lot harder when you don't have a cameraman. Oh yeah, and just so you guys know, Go Power Sports is the only seller of the uh, the 40 series torque converter here. So the torque converter for the one inch shaft. We are draining the oil out of this engine for the first time. We took the torque converter off. Hopefully it won't spill all over the place. Yeah, it probably will. I'm gonna have to tilt this thing way up. So can I begin taking the yeah. bolts off for yeah, the case cover case cover? Yep. Yeah. We have the engine up on its side now, and uh... I'm a little worried about this sprocket being there. This will be interesting to see what's inside. Yeah, it will. I mean, has anyone cracked open the case on one of these on YouTube? I don't see anything about these engines on YouTube. We might be some of the first. Pioneers, Pioneering. That's right. Let's hope we don't break it. Are you, like, really worried? No. Or should I just not mention breaking it? Shouldn't mention it, man. It'll be bad fine. juju. It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> it is kind of bad juju. Yeah. But we're still within our 90-day warranty, aren't we? Yeah, so we just put everything back together and pretend like nothing ever happened. Said it just sat in the box for yeah. three months and take all the garbage oh, out of the box. I don't box. know how that muffler got a hole drilled in it. Yeah, me either. Came like that from the factory. Yep, obviously. We'll just bond those holes up. I think the oil pump's in here. Oh, okay. Wait, it has an oil pump? Yeah, this thing's got an oil pump. Dang, oh. it's not a scooper like the 212s. No, we need a flathead. And you didn't even uh, bust the gasket, did you? I hope not. Oh, and there goes the cover. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. Um, oh it, was, uh, it goes on the... Okay. It's a thrust bearing. Thrust bearing, interesting. That is that. That's the governor arm, right? Yep. Okay. Well, I think it's safe to say that this thing is much more complicated looking than the 212. Yep. Oh, gasket tore a little bit. That's the camshaft. Yep. Crankshaft. Yep. Huh. This is not a roller block engine. Uh, the Predator 212 have roller bearings. Right in there. Right in here. Mm -hmm. That the crankshaft rides in. This one does not. Wait, why would that? This not... is the oil pump. Okay. Oh, look at that little nozzle. This is the nozzle. This is what I loosened <laughs> to get just that little bit of extra clearance. Clearance. Cool. And that's the governor. This is the governor right here. Similar kind of setup as the 212. Yeah, yeah. And I guess I'm just going to bust stuff out. Just do it. It's going to go flying. Yeah. <laughs> it landed on my head. Yeah, I saw that. Off. That was so funny. Uh, wait, where's that little annoying clip? It's right there. It's the oh, same I see it. annoying clip. Yep. As before. 
for those of you who have seen our Predator 212 governor removal videos, uh, there's a little clip. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little clip in there that is such a pain in the butt to get out. That's what it's. That's like 50% of removing the governor is just getting that little tiny clip out. Oh, thanks, man. Ooh. It is good, isn't it? Where'd you get that? The Snap-on Man. The Snap-on Man? Mm-hmm. Mm, I want more. Really good. You weren't expecting that. Not at all. We got the clip. That wasn't too bad. And there goes the governor. And don't forget... Those little washers, yep. The little washer. Sweet. Did someone write something in there? Mm -hmm. It's factory marking. Is that English? Probably not. We do not suggest you bypass the governor. We do not suggest you remove the governor because uh, these engines can blow up when they're ungoverned. They are governed for a reason. However, we are willing to take the risk, uh, the chance of this engine blowing up. For you, the viewers. Yep, for, for you, the viewers. For entertainment purposes only. Yep, once again, we are showing you what not to do. So anyhow, anyhow, you explain how the uh, governor worked in here. This, yeah, this gear right here, that gear right there, this gear right here, spin spun that plastic gear that we just removed from this cover. Mm -hmm. There's a there's three weights on it that get thrown out when the in when the RPM goes real fast. When they get thrown out, they push that metal button that we first removed, which pushes on this, which returns the engine. Uh, throttle back into the idle position or or to the maximum governed RPM. Cool stuff. That's it. Yep. Alrighty, uh, bolts. Uh, so you're putting the the awesome torque converter from Go Power Sports back on this uh, 670 engine from Carsmina. I am. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> Trying to. Uh, this, uh, it has to go up more. Uh huh. Oh, there it goes. Ha ha. The uh, governor that we took out acts like a, a return spring. So when you remove the governor, uh, you lose your uh, return spring on the throttle. So if you don't put a spring in, she'll go wide open with you. Um, Which just <laughs> like the last video where, uh, what, what, what second was the last was that? video? Was, uh, Wasn't the last video? It was the video. Second no, video? It was the second, second video on this build at like, what was it, 24 minutes or I don't something? Know. I don't know. Where John went on a wild ride. <laughs> It was it was awesome. I'm glad uh, I still have my friend here. And don't condone that behavior. Yeah, yeah. Don't do what we do. That was stupid. Um, careless of us to uh, do that. So when we uh, put this all together now, we are going to uh, put jack it up, it up with a, a jack before cranking it up. So if it runs away with us, we can cut it off. We have the torque converter back on. Ike is pouring the old oil back in because it's not that dirty. And we don't have any. And we don't have any, uh, what was it, 10W30 new oil to put in, so. It had been cool if uh, this engine had an oil. Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ike. <laughs> I was tightening this bolt on the front. You were turning it backwards, weren't you? Yep. Yeah. Or just, you know, tightening it so clockwise. <laughs> Not, uh, yeah, you were tightening it, which is turning the engine backwards, which is blowing air, or the pump is running backwards, which is blowing everything into the crankcase, which made it, while I'm pouring oil in it, made blow, it It blew oil in your face. Blow oil in my Sorry, face. buddy. Did I get it all? Yeah, yeah, you're good. So we have our throttle return spring about to go on uh, our throttle or on our linkage. All right, buddy. What's up, man? We getting it? We're getting it. 
All right, just watch that spring. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking that about. Good or, hmm. Probably needed a washer on it, didn't we? Yep. Probably. We don't want to snap the spring. True. Just like that. Yep. Yep. Should be fine. Alrighty, we got another spring on there that isn't broken to return the throttle for us. Jack in the back of the go-kart up so it doesn't run away on Ike. And she's off the ground. Still? Off the ground? Uh, yeah, we're good. Yep. Choke. Choke. <laughs> yeah, buddy. No, no, sir. All right, I'll set her down. Is the governor's, is the choke still on? Choke's off. Choke's off. <laughs> Holy crap, it is so fast. Holy cow, I think he almost died. Get out of the way, ho oh, oh, dude, you're scaring me. Oh my gosh. He is tearing up the yard, Ike. <laughs> oh, I gotta get on it. I'm not gonna do any stupid stuff like you did. Scary, dude. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was an honest donut, everybody. Leaving cursive in the driveway. That is, it's, oh my gosh. That is, no, that's too much. just prepared any moment for it to pick up the front tires and want to go into one of these cars dude it looked like you were going to go into one of these cars a couple of times <laughs> i had a control it didn't look like it at all i had control so the tires were smoking tires were smoking oh my god it, it's nuts i know it is it's nuts. yeah man and we haven't even like modified i know it's, it's crazy nuts. Yeah. And this rocket is like that big. We'll fix that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Hello again, everybody. Taylor is here, and he is cleaning off the uh, the go-kart. Had a lot of water today. Yeah. Um, water. We were cleaning it off because we had been riding it around, and it was very muddy outside. So just cleaning the mud off of it. Why are we cleaning the mud off of it, Ike? What are we doing tomorrow morning? Because we want the go-kart to look good while filming it on the dyno. What? What, 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 what? I guess we're gonna do a before and after uh, modification run. Yep. So, uh, we're not gonna, pro probably not gonna get the real numbers on it. But we're going to get a rough idea, I think. Right, because the torque converter uh, will... It's going to throw it off. Yep, distort the results. <clears throat> it'll trick it. It'll trick the dyno into thinking it's probably got more torque than it actually has. Uh, and probably a little less power. But we are just getting numbers to compare. 
to whenever we modify it. Good morning, everybody. We have two go-karts loaded up on Ike's trailer, and we are about to head off to go to the dyno. This is Ike's blue go-kart. It has a Predator 212 uh, home non modified. What? Non-hemi. Non yeah, non-hemi engine. Uh, it has been home modified by Ike. He modified the air uh, cleaner. He removed the governor. He made a header for it. Did a couple other things, <clears throat> but he didn't buy performance parts for it. He made them. So we are basically just seeing how that 212 is going to compare to that 670. We have the go-kart sitting on the dyno. We are calibrating the uh, engine RPM. We're trying to determine uh, what the engine RPM is. So we have a reference point whenever we uh, do the, the actual dyno pull. What do you think, man? It sounds like it's got a cam in it. It does. Wait, are, are we about to do a run? Yeah. Put out 17.9 horsepower with Corvette? and 37.8 foot pounds of torque. Wait. Did you hear what you said? What did you say? I'm sorry. 17.9 horsepower. Okay. And 37.8 foot pounds of torque. That's, well, that's, that's the torque converter. That's, that's the wheel. yeah. That's at the wheel. The torque converter is probably. Like I can say we're, we're generally you would run the dyno in one gear on right in one to one. That right. would be actual right. numbers. Right. So what might work better? And of course, it still sounded like the RPM was climbing. Do the eighth mile. Ike, what are we doing on here? Huh? Are we doing a power pull or eighth mile or what? Uh, uh, eight, uh, sixteenth of a mile. Oh, sixteenth mile, yeah. okay.
pretty disappointing. You can see the difference between that one and the other one. 24. 24. Oh. That's like my first estimate for the other one. I said 23. Well, we know for sure that this will do faster in the eighth. So we were back from the dyno. This puppy did pretty good. Put down 40 torque and 18 horsepower at the wheels. A lot more torque than we thought, which is awesome. Yeah, I was impressed. Yeah, but anyway, now what we are doing is uh, making a wheelie bar. Now it's not gonna be the prettiest wheelie bar, but it's just gonna be temporary because we need to put a smaller rear sprocket on here because the dyno indicated we were only doing 33 or 31 miles an hour, not very fast. So we're going to need to put a smaller sprocket on this thing in order to get anywhere close to beating that Corvette. And uh, putting a smaller sprocket on it will mean we'll do less wheelies. So this wheelie bar is only temporary. It'll be fine. Yep. By the way, we're making a wheelie bar right now. Taylor's here. I have the claw of the toy. <laughs> <laughs> the wheelie bar is just about done. I welded some bolts onto the end of it, and I welded some bolts to our motor mount. And we're going to show you how it all works. We ran out of paint halfway through spraying the uh, yeah. wheelie bar too, but whatever. Yeah, it'll be fine. That's right. So we've got two washers and a nut pinching the um, the wheelie bar. Yeah. So by tightening those nuts, we can adjust it to how far out it comes, which will give us more angle angle on the wheelie. Yep. And it's not the best looking wheelie bar, but this is just temporary. Because when we swap gears, it's not gonna do wheelies anymore. That's right, it'll just go 90 okay. miles an hour. Wait, I thought it was gonna do 170. You, reckon we ought to pull it out a little bit then. Well, how much we can, angle will that give us? Well, the further in, the- The more angle. The, the, we'll, we'll just start by. That's, that's safe this being safe and we can always move it in yep you think that'll support a big man okay yeah all right so far so good whatever you say hoss sweet <laughs> Jeez, it, it looks so looks cool. <laughs> it's pretty redneck looking dude the fact that you think it's cool means it's pretty redneck looking. all right what is what size is that i don't know half inch that's what size it is. <laughs> Adjustable wrench. That's pretty cool, man. As redneck as it is. Is this paint dry? Probably not. That's pretty good. Although it's got some flex to it for sure. Yeah, it's a little spring. I mean, we want a little bit of spring. Yeah. Be fine. Are we ready? I think we're ready, man. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was pretty scary, dude. I didn't think you were going to get on it. She turns a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I guess when it goes up, it uh, it goes to one side. That's kind of unfortunate. That was nuts. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. I got a passenger. I'm gonna see if I can scare him. Congratulations, I sir. Done. I think he's done. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scared the legs off of him. Oh, no. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> so 
so you didn't blow it up? And some oil. Dude! <laughs> Ike, did you blow it up? It's under warranty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not! We removed the governor. It'll be fine. We'll put it back in. Did we blow this motor up, Ike? He doesn't look concerned, so I wouldn't be. Does he ever look concerned? <laughs> it's smoking real bad. That's not good. Yeah, uh, well. I don't care if he says it'll be fine, dude. Okay, it is going away. Oh, there he goes again. Holy cow, dude. Oh, it's a good thing this is only like a five video series. That engine might not make it too much longer. No. Holy cow. Well, it's not smoking now. So ex explain Oh, it's the wheel. <laughs> Explain what just happened, man. Explain. Well, I was uh, doing a buck 50 down the road and I just came in the driveway a little hot. And, uh, well, I guess we uh, just slung a little bit too much oil uh, up into the crankcase and it uh, grounded out the uh, engine. Okay. I'm gonna have to talk to my builders about that. What do you mean? My builders. Your engine builder? Yeah. We don't have an engine builder. What are you talking about? Go Power Sports? Oh, we're on a NASCAR team, right? Oh, we're on an... Of course, how could I forget? We're on a NASCAR team. Yeah, pit stop. Here we go. We've been practicing. I think you're lifting it... Oh, no, you're good. He's been practicing. A success. What do you think? Yes, sir. Until Ike went around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Still, <laughs> Ike almost blowed up the engine. Well, it'll be fine. Yep, it'll be fine. She's but, she's uh for drag racing. She's not for yep, cornering. Drag racing purposes only. This video series would not be possible without Go Power Sports, who provided all the parts for us. There are links to Go Power Sports to those parts in the description of this video. And uh, also Cars Amino. Cars Amino is a mobile automotive community. It's an app you can download on your iPhone or Android device, and it's a place where you can hang out virtually with uh, other car and go-kart enthusiasts. It's pretty cool to have seen uh, a bunch of our followers go on Cars Amino and be posting stuff about their projects. It's cool because it, it, we get to see what you guys are working on. It's awesome. So uh, go download it if you want to hang out with uh, other, other car and go-kart enthusiasts. Um, what else? Next part, we are going to be modifying this engine. We are going to try to get rid of this factory air box. We think it's pretty restrictive. We're going to be making a custom header, a true dual exhaust, uh, right here. Uh, what else are we going to do? We're going to get a smaller sprocket for it, and we might be messing with the carburetor jet. That's about all we got for this one. Uh, check us out on Cars Amino at Cars and Cameras. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you uh, next time. So, Taylor. What? What color are your pants now? Brown. They're brown? A little bit of green. Why are they green? Because uh, <laughs> it's not always brown, bud. <laughs>